The seventh day of January 2022, 2023 rather, my name is Fatheya Noor. Today on the program, we'll be discussing, of course, the cost of electricity that has gone up in the country, and we'll also be having the Wajir speaker to discuss some of the issues that are happening in that particular county. Now, a meeting chaired by Deputy President Rigadi Gashago on Thursday failed to unlock the dispute over allocation of funds to the counties. The meeting, which was attended by a section of governors, cabinet secretaries and other top government officials, lasting close to six hours, ended in a stalemate as the, as the governor's county revenue allocation and the treasury failed to agree on the amount to be dispersed to counties. Grace Nganga reports. At the 19th ordinary session of the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council, IBEC, held at the Kenya School of Government, it was noted that some governors would intentionally omit pending bills incurred during the reign of their predecessor, but pay what they incur while in office. While pending bills and how to up on source revenue were the top agenda of the day, the main bone of contention was on equitable share of revenue, where governors are demanding for 425 billion shillings. The budget policy statement released by the National Treasury had allocated counties 380 billion shillings, an increase of 10 billion shillings compared to the last financial year. However, governors through the Council of Governors Committee Chair in charge of Finance and Economic Affairs, Fernandez Barassa, protested the amount earlier this week. And after an intense six-hour meeting, both parties led by Deputy President Rigadi Gashago on one side and the county bosses on the other could not resolve the stalemate, with the county bosses remaining adamant that 407 billion shillings offer from the National Treasury by the recommendation of the SRC will not suffice and stuck to their guns of 425 billion shillings or no deal. We have not been able to reach a decision but I want to confirm that all the participants are alive to the current economic situation in the country, sitting so a small committee to hold further discussions and in a week's time come up with a solution as to the exact amount that will be agreed on uh, as a share of uh, uh, revenue that will go to the county governments. The president has agreed to hold the governors for a two-day literate uh, early next month to discuss all those cross-cutting issues with a view of coming up with solutions. And that forum will also be, will enable the governors. With the parties failing to establish a common ground, a committee has been established to try to resolve the matter prior to a meeting between President William Ruto and the governor slated for early next month. Controller of budget Margaret Nyakango, who presented the agenda of the day, cited delays in the disbursement from National Treasury and approval of supplementary budget as some of the reasons for the accumulation of pending bills in the counties. Diversion of funds to the other counties, inadequate supporting documents, and underperformance in own source revenue were also blamed. As of December 2022, counties owed 158 billion shillings in pending bills. Of this amount, 23.9 billion shillings is from the original Auditor General eligible pending bills report, and the rest of 134 billion shillings are those accumulated in the financial year 2020-2021. Of the counties with the high eligible pending bills, Nairobi County leads with 9.6 billion, followed by Kiambu with 3.3 billion, Mombasa 2.3 billion, Kajiado 969 million, and Meru County with 925 million shillings. Nairobi County also leads when it comes to ineligible pending bills with 75 billion shillings, followed by Garissa with 4.4 billion shillings, Wajir 4.2 billion, Kuala 2.7 billion, and Muranga 1.6 billion shillings. Recommendations from the control of budget proposes that each county should submit a fresh comprehensive list of pending bills from both the Office of the Auditor General and those incurred after the special audit. Grace Nganga, KTA News, Nairobi. Now the Labour Court in Nairobi has ordered the immediate reinstatement of suspended independent electronic